Good morning, South Florida. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. And I'm Carly Barnett. Here's a quick wrap-up of your Monday morning headlines. An investigation is underway after a barricaded man shots at, shoots at officers and was found dead. This happened on Southwest 122nd Avenue and 88th Street. Police say a mother called after her son began causing damage in the apartment. Authorities say the man became erratic and eventually shot at officers who then returned fire. The man barricaded himself in a room and was eventually found dead. One officer was grazed by a bullet and was treated on the scene. A man suspected in another police standoff remains in the hospital. Police responded to a call of shots fired over Saturday night at a home in Brownsville. Officers found a man barricaded inside with two young children. When the SWAT team got inside, they found the man suffering from a self-inflicted gunshot wound and the children's mother dead. Family members are now caring for the children. Investigators are trying to figure out what caused a fire in Coral Springs. Flames and smoke could be seen coming out of a unit on the top floor of a building in the 1200 block of Riverside Drive yesterday. The Coral Springs Parkland Fire Department says they rescued an elderly woman whose apartment was filled with smoke. The impeachment inquiry of President Trump will pick up steam this week. Several current and former State Department officials are expected to testify before Congress. House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff expects the whistleblower to testify very soon. A new CBS News poll found the majority of Americans approve of the inquiry, though they are divided over whether the president deserves to be impeached. And that's a look at some of your morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon and get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.